What's up everyone, Platino here, and welcome back to episode. And I know I wasn't going to talk about this, but here we are again with this topic, and that's on the protest. And I know I've said I was exclude all that stuff from this channel, but I'm going to talk about it one more time. And one more time, because I'm really pissed off, I'm tired of hearing about this, I'm tired of seeing it on social media, on Twitter, and all this stuff, and this is really pissing me off. So I'm going to go through it, um, not sure how long the video will be, but I have my little paper here with all... There's um, 12 topics, like 12 and 1. Just going to summarize it so that way I don't like go off topic or whatever, forget things. So I have everything written down here, like the state and the people's names and whatever like that. And then we're going to go from there. So number one, Maxine Waters. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say about this damn lady, you know. Supposedly she's a Republican, <laughs> but she's acting like this. I would think that's more of like what Democrats have been doing nowadays, but... Yeah, she's going around inciting violence. You know, she's a grown ass lady, grown old woman like her. She's over here inciting violence instead of being a positive role model, like a mother figure, you know, a motherly like figure for these young. I won't even say protests. <laughs> protesters because they've been looting and all that stuff. So let's just say like these street thugs, pretty much. And instead of being a positive role model, she's over here inciting violence and things like that. And um, and now I think now I heard from because of, because of that. Um, they might be <laughs> might be a little appeal going on right now for um, Derek Chauvin. That's what I've heard. So um, it's crazy. <sighs> I don't know what to say about this lady, but like, why do you have these 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 people that's this incited violence instead of trying to tell them what's right from wrong when they're the ones that's wrong? And um, you know, they they're going through they're going around, you know, causing problems and destroying things and looting things no one wants to work you know and then it's, it's, it's crazy like i don't understand what's going on nowadays and you have these like higher you know these high authority figures and stuff or people like you know really popular and they're saying these type of things and since we're in our topic so i'm gonna go with i'm gonna skip over to because i have him here alone i have it here, here number 11 and that's with um lebron james another one who's in silent violence you know, this grown ass man like this, you know, he's very popular. He has a lot of fans on Twitter and stuff. And he's going around, you know, inside of violence too because one of his tweets he, he later deleted where he said that, um, you're next. Where he was talking about this, um, this crime that happened. Well, it's because of the, the girl. Was, you know, she had a knife on her, the black girl, and she was going to stab another black girl. And she was almost like, like literally, like right on her, about to do it. And the police, you know, they called the police to to stop this, but the police, you know, shot her because he was just, she was about to kill her. She was just about to stab her. And what else could he have done? You know, so I don't understand why people are upset about that because of the police. So that's a whole different thing now that's going on with that. I don't understand. Like, so you're telling me if the the cop wasn't there, and if she would have stabbed and killed the black girl. No one would have said anything. You guys wouldn't have said anything because black on black crime, because that's what I I don't understand. That's what I that's what you see mo most of the times. That's what you see all the time here in New York City, in the hood, and all these places. That's all you see is always black on black crime all the time. They're killing each other left and right every day, every day, or robbing them and all this stuff. And no one, I mean, no one talks about that. None of these celebrities talks about it. Um, none of these political figures. Nobody talks about this stuff. It just goes like, <laughs> like this swept under the rug. They don't care about that. But if it's like one cop, <laughs> one white cop that shoots a black, a black teen, or whatever, you know, it's a big deal. You know, something that barely happens, it really happens like that. And then they want to go on TV and say, "Oh, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of all this shit and all this crap." You know, like, like shut the hell up. How about you go over there, you know, and start like teaching these kids the right thing, you know, right from wrong, and like start. You know, complying with the police when they tell them something, you listen. You know, they tell you to get the car, they tell you to put your hands up. Stop trying to fight with them. So trying to be a tough guy and you know think that you own the streets or you own the world and no one can tell you what to do. And that's what's really pissing me off with that. Um, well, I'm kind of pretty much <laughs> tying everything in, so I'm not gonna go through one, two, three, four, five. They're all gonna be like together, but I just have it as number twelve just to have the topics so, all you know, <laughs> so I don't forget. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's just crazy. Like, they don't want to comply with the police or anything. And there's also another thing that um, one of the news reporters, is, like, uh, he's, he mentioned, which is really true. And a lot of them don't have a father figure. They all grow up with a single parent, you know, their mother, where they don't listen. They don't, you know, misbehave, you know, be in the streets, join gangs, 
do drugs, sell drugs, you know, and all that stuff. And no one wants to do anything no more. They probably dropped out of high school, you know, all that stuff. Never went to college or anything like that. Probably never even worked a job in their lives, you know. And they're just going around, you know, starting these problems. And it's, it's crazy because I feel like, you know, yeah, it's, it's just like what you said. And like a lot of people also said, it begins in the household, you know. That's where it all begins, you know, that's where the person lives, you know, that's where they live and that's where they, you know, they grow up. So, of course, that's who they learn it from, parents, the people in the area, you know, the, the neighborhood or whatever. And they don't have anybody to tell them what's right from wrong. You know, they do their own thing. And that's the life they always, they always wanted, they all, they choose. Always want, always a street life. Always, you know, doing things illegal or something bad. Never want to do anything positive, never. And I see this a lot. It happens a lot with, with black kids all the time. So I don't care who wants to tell me, you know, it's racist or whatever, but it happens often with black kids. Yeah, it's Spanish here and there, but it's mostly with black kids, you know, that this happens. Where they don't they don't want to work, they don't want to do, go to school or nothing like that. And they want to have free ways of getting money, you know. That's why the majority of them voted for Biden, because, you know, they wanted free money. And it's, it's crazy. Like, I don't understand what's going on in this world, you know, well, mainly this country. Because this is, if it's any other country, they will not be able to do that shit nowhere else. I could tell you that. I could tell you that. Can't do this in DR. Can't do this in, like, the Middle East, China, all those places. You think they could be doing that, looting and burning all these stuff? They would have shot and killed them a long time ago and, went, you know, went along their business and nothing would have came out of it, you know? And that's where these people need to be because, you know, over here is where they can get away with all that shit. In other countries, they can't. And that's what pisses me off. So, it, it just, it starts from there. It starts from the household. And I feel like a lot of these parents don't even deserve to even have kids. They shouldn't even be allowed to have kids because, you know, a lot of them are undesirables too. They are, you know, they grew up the same way. <laughs> so what's gonna happen with the kids? They're gonna follow in the same footsteps. So they gonna start doing. They gonna do the same shit as them. And it is crazy because you don't have anybody to tell them what's right from wrong. So they're going around and doing all this shit. I don't like that at all. And I don't know what to say. What is this? This this country is this. It's this <laughs> it's a shithole. That's all I can say. This is really a shit shithole right now because. Never like this before, and then all of a sudden, last year is when everyone wants to start acting up. I don't know why. And um, let's see. Uh, just going. Pretty much, I covered most of this stuff. Um, what else? So the Derek, Derek Chauvin, yeah, versus George George Floyd. I feel like he only won, they, he only um was found guilty because um. I feel like they was being threatened. <laughs> like, everyone in that courthouse was being threatened. You had all these guys waiting outside, and you already know it's going to start acting up. Even though they've been acting up anyways before. Like, wonder while the trial was going on, they were still looting all the stuff. So I don't understand what's the point of that. You know, <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. I, I just don't know what to say. Like, you would think they would, you know, start acting more like, you know, how you, how you should say, like, more civilized. Yeah, that's the word. More civilized stop acting like damn animals and it's really annoying that i keep seeing this all the time and um yeah it, it's just crazy so i feel like that's why you know that ha that's what happened in that case and why he's found guilty because i feel like they was more threatened the judges and everything and that's what i believe but now with maxi water this stupid bitch <laughs> now you know they they might appeal it so let's see what happens with that and um like oh and also on that that case yeah I understand what he did was wrong. I really do. But also, you got to think about it. George Floyd was also a bad person too, you know. Especially selling fake $20 bills and all that stuff. So he was bad as well and taking drugs and all that stuff. No one talking about that. They ignored that. And, you know, it's like he feel like he's a saint. Everyone's talking about him as if he's a good guy. And, you know, like, no, that's not how it works. No. Yes, the police got, you know, the police was wrong. Derek Chauvin was wrong for what he did. But still, like, you can't can't justify it. you can't tell me that this guy was like a saint or something like no he was doing legal stuff so i don't care what you guys want to say and the majority of these people that they're defending like a lot of these people defending these black Lives matter protest protesters or whatever their cause is their movement i should say and, you know they support this type of stuff they support criminal behavior they support bad people and and also when you know a black on black crime happens I don't see them anywhere. Are they protest about that? Are they saying anything about that? No. They're not saying anything. <laughs> it, it's... Uh, I don't know what to say. I'm just really mad about this. I'm tired of... Tired of hearing about it every day. And, uh, let's see. And, yeah. Also, honoring criminals now. So, that's what it is. Like, <laughs> when this happens, they honor the, the bad guy. Like, they didn't do anything wrong. They didn't do anything wrong. And the cop was the worst person in the world. 
and they are no criminals. I, I don't understand that now in this world. Like, uh, I, I feel bad for all the good guys, all the good people like me that, you know, <laughs> yeah, that gets ignored. While the bad ones, you know, the ones that be that gets honored and people talk about and, you know, like the, you know, this big shot of saint. It's crazy. Um, what else? Defunding the police. That's another one. So they defunded the police. They wanted to defund the police. But when there's more crime in the hood. So they wanted to defund the police. But they're just the same people you call on. <laughs> like what they did in Ohio with that girl. Who they call in the police? Did they go and stop it themselves? No. So I feel like, you know... If you gonna do, if you want to fund the police and you guys hate the police, so stop calling them then, and you guys kill each other because that's all you've been doing anyways for all these for all these years, black on black crime every day. So if you guys want that to continue and you don't care about it, you're not gonna protest about it. None of these celebrities are gonna talk about it and anything like that or discipline these people. Then oh well, let it keep happening and stop calling the police. You want to fund them? Good. The only thing that that the only thing that that causes though is like for people like uh, like me and others that you know. What if something really, you know, a big situation happens and you want to call them, they don't come for it, you know, <laughs> then we're screwed. And it's you people to blame, which sucks, you know, and I don't understand that. We just defund the police and that's, I feel like that's wrong. That's wrong because all that's going to do is just create more crimes. A lot of the crimes that they have been doing all this time. <laughs> and uh, let's see what else. Uh, I think that's it. Let me see. Uh... Yeah, we spoke about that. We spoke about it. they have no father figures. That's why a majority of them turns turn to turn to the street life. Talked about LeBron James being an idiot because he's signing violence, but even though he later deleted the tweet, too late. A lot of people seen it. <laughs> so and also, I don't understand. Oh, last thing, yes, this is the last one. So I don't understand this because, you know, a lot of these. Like was well, Black Lives Matter movement or whatever. They're talking about with hate and discrimination and want unity and all this stuff. But a majority of them, <laughs> or should I say a majority of you, don't like other people. You're racist against other people. A lot of blacks, well, from what I see, you guys are jealous against whites for some reason. and want to pick pro start problems with them for some reason. I don't know why. What are you jealous about? But a lot of you don't like other races when it comes to Spanish, you know, Asians or whatever. A lot of hate crimes that's been on Asians with black people. And also homophob homophobia. A lot of you guys are homophobic. You know, you don't like gay people, and you attack them and all that stuff. It happens all the time. So, I don't understand this. You guys are, like, fighting, you know, a so-called movement that's fighting for your rights or whatever, and for discrim discrimination, racism, and you want unity, but yet you don't treat anybody else right. I don't understand that. <laughs> you don't like any other races. You treat, you know, gay people wrong and all this stuff. So, I don't understand the point of that. To me, I just feel like that's just, that's just hypocrites right there. All hypocrites. So, I, I don't know what else to say. Like, <laughs> that's just, I don't have to laugh at that and think to myself, like, really? Like, you guys spread hate all the time. <laughs> but if it's hate towards you, it's a problem. I don't understand that at all. That's not how it works. Not how it works. <laughs> so, you gotta do it. You got you know, if you wanna spread the hate, you gotta be able to accept that too and stop being sensitive about it, you know, and stop causing problems or being quick to sue people and get free money because you don't wanna work. So, and that's it. So, um, I think that's about it that I have to talk about. Let me see. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, it's crazy what's happening over there in Minneapolis. Hopefully that shit doesn't come here in New York with that, you know. Let them, let them keep that over there. Want to destroy the city, not have any places to go and shop, buy food, whatever. That's on them, whatever. You know, let's don't bring that over here. And also they start over there in Ohio now, too, because of the girl. You know, and defending her as well. You know, I don't understand defending criminals. But yeah, whatever. So that's pretty much it for this episode. And let's see. All right, so we're about to hit the 15 minute mark. But yeah, <laughs> so we're going to cut it there. So yeah, so like, comment, all that great stuff. You guys want to, you know, you against it? Speak, you know, negative comments you're going to have against me? Whatever, I don't care. You know, I feel like, you know, this is the truth I'm talking. And it's just crazy how hypocritical this stuff is that I'm seeing, you know, and hearing about. And that's pretty much it. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you all later. Take care.